One of the few things I dislike about this lathe is this indexing knob should be back here. It's here. Guess what your thumb bangs onto and scuffs up all the time. Now for the first almost year, I just took this out and put it somewhere else, but I use it a lot now to lock the spindle for sanding, spot sanding inside. Still, I've got this problem, even with the tape on there. So I thought this morning, why not put a big wheel on here so that my thumb doesn't come anywhere near that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't remember precisely why I had that Gorilla tape on there. Must have had a reason. One and a hundred and hundred and one, hundred and twenty eight. How good does that do me? So I need a whole one and thirteen sixteenths. Figure out some way to get that on there later. So now I need a, a wheel about six inches across. And I need to find a board six inches across. Five and a quarter. Not sure what this is, but I think it's oak. Five and a quarter will do. I cut a square on the bandsaw. This is not perfectly square. One side's a little slanty. Here we have a center. Put a three sixteenths hole all the way through it. I drill a 3 16 inch pilot hole in hardwoods so the spurs on the drive reach the wood. Sure, I'm glad I got a lot of wood chips on the floor. Makes for a lot softer landing. Here comes another duh moment. Now why didn't I round this sum um, on the saw? I need to think a couple of steps ahead here to make this round between centers. I have a 3 16th hole all the way through it. What follows is at least five minutes of trying to figure out how to hold this and cut a big hole in it. Both of my chucks were in use. I finally decided to finish up one of the bowls that was on a chuck so I could use that chuck for a worm screw. But I don't want all that depth. Should be enough. Half inch bowl gouge, 1300 RPM. 
Somebody needs to invent a six hour GoPro battery. So I've got a little bit of a shape here for gripping. It's uh, mimicked but not repeated on the back. I can't get in there close enough. But um, it's okay. A little bit of sanding here. Be ready to tackle the hole. Now I need a 13 16 hole. I meant one and 13 16 and what I need is this handle off of here so I can test fit as I go. So here we are. That big. Check this again. Still one and one hundred one twenty eight. One and one hundred one one hundred twenty eights all the way down. So I need fifty hundred and twenty eights. No, I need fifty and sixty four one hundred twenty eights or one hundred fourteen one hundred twenty eight for the radius of the hole. Oh, and a half. Oh, shit. Good millimeters. Christ almighty. Forty-five and a half. Twenty-two and a quarter. Isn't that easy? Yes, the metric system is easy. We Americans refuse to do it. I don't know why. We do it with our money. So from the center of that hole... Out to right there. Which very conveniently is the perimeter of the flat area I left. I think I want to go up to and maybe halfway through the pencil line but no farther. And I'm going to taper it slightly, straighten it out as I go, and I can't go down very far because that screws in the way. I'm going to use a square carbide for this. That unusual whirring sound you hear is caused by the rear bearing on the spindle not being held firmly in place by the black handle which I took off to use to measure this hole. A little wider.
What about there? Perfect. It could be just a little snugger, perhaps. I haven't figured out yet how I'm going to fasten that on there, but we'll worry about that later. I was looking very carefully for the tip of the worm screw in that hole. I had um, about a half inch of spacers on the screw to limit its penetration into the wood, but still I didn't want to run into it with the carbide. I'm looking for the end of the uh, worm scoop. I think I see it. Yep, there it is. See here where I decrease the diameter by half a hair. This goes in. I can shrink that a little bit farther even. I don't see the end of that yet. Shrink the diameter yet again. Oh, that's way too too small now. Yeah, we'll go through that one. Still don't see the end of the screw.
Nope, that second step is still too high. Damn little short handled things. There'll be a screw in there somewhere. Yep, there it is. Didn't hit it, I see it. That's that second step. So I'll just take it out. I almost can't see that. And this won't go past it. no reason this has to go all the way through. None. About a quarter inch left out there. Maybe an, maybe an eighth. The camera angle doesn't quite show it, but I realized that the carbide cutter was the same width as the thickness of the uh, walls of this aluminum handle. So I was just going straight in next to the outer diameter to create sort of a, a trench for this to go into for even more support. It wouldn't quite fit over the center, so I was whittling it ever so slightly until I could push this handle all the way in. Oh, it's hanging up. It's not going in there.
See, where's the burnish mark? Right there, okay. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, that's all the way in. And loose, damn it. I could have probably forced it in against that last little obstruction. Here's what it looks like now. This outer is a little too big. Um, so this fits over that. Pretty sure. 31 to all the way in. It's going in 28. That's to the top of the little uh, thingy there. If I were to just just taper that a little. I mean like a half a molecule. When I had a snug fit all the way to the bottom of the hole, I reversed the wheel using the hole for a mortise and then shaped the backside and drilled a half inch hole to accommodate the knockout bar. Straight to 240 here to finish this up. to fix this on there with. I could rough this up. And put it on a thick CA. I think I'll do that. medium thick. I need the dang stuff to flow. There we go. The heat of my hands. 
causes it to flow. I didn't waste time moving the camera. I quickly applied a bead of Starbond medium thick CA around the junction between aluminum and wood. Still with the keys and chucks. Not perfectly true, but who cares? I won't be banging my knuckles on the uh, index wheel. Um, just right for my hand. Glad I didn't make it bigger. Go for the knockout bar. It has plenty of reach to knock the uh, spurs out. If Laguna had put the indexing knob behind the spindle instead of in front of it, this wouldn't be necessary. But it was an enjoyable project and practical.